Hello everyone and welcome to Homestead for the season opener of a 2023 Lionheart Retro series which will be broadcast live on Racebot. You may be wondering what's going on with my new look. Um, this was not intentional, I've had a really bad sinus issue the last couple of weeks and it receded for a while and came back today as just this massive headache. I'm taking Tylenol, I've taken a nap and it's still here. So I've got a damp cloth over my head, I've got a massive bucket of warm water here and uh, we're going to try and push you. I think once the race starts I'll forget about it. First, Lionheart Race from Triple Monitor, so that'll be fun. I say as I take my hands off the wheel and put it in the wall. Um, there's going to be about 40 cars, season open at Homestead, you can normally count on there being a fair bit of attrition uh, because of the amount of rookies and people kind of shaking off cobwebs. We'll have clean stints, but we'll also have pretty nasty incidents. I'm doing retro again because there was never reason not to do retro, it probably conflicted with my work schedule or something. Um, and I, I look back at my results and realise, hey, I, I'm able to get top 10 finishes in retro, or at least I was a few years ago, let's, uh, let's give it a go again. Um, yeah, this is ambitious if you know how I drive, but my goal this year is to win a race in retro. Uh, you might be thinking, Samuel, I thought you normally focused on consistency and points and finishing. You're correct, however, I know I'm going to be missing a few races a season. Most notably, I'm going to be missing the double points triple crown race at Indianapolis, which is a big bummer because it's normally a track I perform well at. Um, where was I going with the story? So obviously, I think that's going to hurt me in the championship. I've been racing Lionheart for several years and there's enough chaos and random at select oval events. It's like, you know what, maybe one of these races will get lucky and get a win. Might not be that, <laughs> might not be likely today given my condition, uh, but uh, we'll see. Maybe today will be just a survival race and get used to doing the Lionheart races with the Triple Monica setup. I only turned the record off for a few seconds. My car is called Wednesday. I have not seen uh, the Netflix series Wednesday based on Wednesday Adams, but I have been calling the car Halloween because of Halloween colours. I always give my cars female names, so uh, it kind of just lined up. So everyone say hi Wednesday. I stopped recording for five it's seconds okay. again. Yeah. Yes, I know it's ironic at these races on Thursdays and my car is called Wednesday. Five. That might not be irony. You can, Three, you can't it. Two. Well, this is right where I want to be, right where I belong. Dead last for the start. I've taken the cloth off because I'm feeling a little bit okay. Um, but I've still got my bucket there if I need it. Learn which way up and down shift are. There we go. I know I should start in first gear, but since I'm dead last, I'm just going to go ahead in second. Everyone anticipates a big incident quite early on, so we're going to play the sit back here and wait for that to happen strategy. I've been saying that I anticipate course in every 20 laps, it's lap 15, and things are getting dicey up there. Reckon, reckon. Logo, logo, logo. Why? Why would you do that? Alright, we're restarting in front of a few cars that had damage. That's alright. I've muted the team because they're arguing about whether we can go to the end on these cars or not. If, if I'm in the pits in another 10 laps, I'll change them again. Checked up and I went down the inside, got caught for passing to boy on red. Now 
not looking too promising right now. We're about half a lap behind the leader. Uh, last car on the lead lap. And you can see there's no sign of a caution about that happening in front of me. The buts to that are that the leaders have to pit soon because they didn't pit under the first caution. Uh, it's early in the race and I'm still anticipating another caution because I think while it's calm in front of me, I think a lead pack is still kind of wild. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Worst case scenario, if it's a long green flag run to the finish, we'll try and have good pit stops and uh, pick up spots that way. Alright, restarting at the back. Luke Daniels and Jim Herrick are behind me. Teammates and they'll light a fuel. Oh yeah, man, I'm just catching the front back right now, Bob. Outside. I think they hear that. Still there. 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Turn, baby, turn. Car 07, pull off, not meeting right space, please. Some cars may have took tyres on the last stop. I wonder if those are all the guys I'm passing now. Because Wednesday is a rocket ship out there back on the field. 0 4, pinning. Alright, so that was a good green flag stint for me. We're 20th. The tyres, a little older than I'd like. Uh, fuel's good. Alright, green car. Forty pit. has been horrible. I'm three wide through that turn and he never told me until I was down the straight. I know I'm racing for track position but this is sketchy. I don't want to stay up high let them buy low. A three group to come back and pass cars down both towards the end. no difference between finishing 15th and 20th, there's a big difference between finishing 20th and finishing 35th. That's what these guys are trying to do. There's only one car left behind me. So worst I'm going to finish is second, 20 seconds as long as I finish. The best I'm going to finish is 15th and we'll in front of this package. 13 laps left to go, but it's still a long time. Alright, we're 
Come on. Restart in 18th with 8 laps left to go. I do have a teammate 3 cars up. I let him know I'm not going to try and be too aggressive until we get really down into the closing laps. The thing is, the closing laps aren't too far away. I wouldn't be surprised if we have another caution or two before the end, though. I would be quite happy with an 18th. Let's see what happens. I hope I don't get rear-ended by traffic. Car is off. His experience, I probably won't. My finest three stop. Oh, there we go. Alright, we are restarting 16th of 18 cars left on the lead lap for a three lap shootout. Caution would end the race. Of course, if we start the last lap, we race back to the end. Two cars left behind me. I don't know a lot about the 37. I know George races aggressively, but I think he might be damaged, so we'll see. Uh, I think I might have lost a couple positions on the restart because of uh, going up high to avoid that car that was stopped in the middle of the track. But we'll see. It is a race. I've got a lot to gain. Not a whole lot to lose, to be honest. I think even if I get in the wreck, I'll still get top 20 out of this. Great restart. I wouldn't have been surprised if uh, Thomas Bunch had tried to make a move, but he didn't. Oh, they'll do some uh, bottom line there. Oh, he got he must have got really loose because he's got a big gap over them now. When fifth gear, that'll tighten up a little bit. I think my race is between myself and Hugo Galas. Boy, she is loose! Loose and loose and loosey! Two laps left to go. No pressure from behind. It's the 15th and 16th as far as my race is concerned. I don't know how I'll pass you, but the last will figure that one out eventually. I don't really want to do anything and cause everyone else to catch us. And who's on the 8th from there? Who should just be a lap car, would be my guess. This last lap? Oh no, it's a lead lap car. Okay, that's a position. 15. Yep, last lap. Me and Hugo. Go up high, get a nice little run going down the back straight, front passing down low. Go on, let me have a low line if it doesn't go high. Okay, uh, walking up the track a little bit. Back over one behind me, beat 15. Wow, boys. 